Welcome to the Jason Coleman Show. This is show number 19, and I'm so glad you've joined today for a celebration of Simply Piano. It's my brand new piano album, my first new piano album, the solo album, in uh, a lot of years now, and it's made up entirely of songs I've performed over the past few months of Sundays here on the Jason Coleman Show. So it's sort of like the best of the show so far. So for today's show together, I thought it'd be fun to go back and revisit all the original performances that inspired the songs on the album. So over the next little while, we're going to hop back through some previous shows since all the way back in March when we started this thing to cover every one of the tracks on the album. So I hope you'll enjoy now the songs of Simply Piano. Oh, this is a song I hadn't played a whole uh, a whole lot, but it's one that I've liked for a long time, and I love the way that uh, my granddad played it on a couple of his albums. It's a Ronnie Millsap song called "It Was Almost Like a Song." So next on the list here, so you know, we've uh, while we've been stuck in the house, uh, Avery has been, he always has loved, you know, learning. He always loves trying new things. And one of the things that he really has taken to is we have a map of the USA. It's a puzzle and Avery, and it speaks to you and it tells you what state it is and what the capital is. And Avery by now uh, pretty much knows the entire US, which is pretty crazy, but he can. He'll go pick out a state and he knows exactly what it is. And he uh, has taken to, lately, taken these little puzzle pieces and bringing them to the piano and he'll make up a song that goes with uh, that particular state. You know, we heard him playing these little high things and he had Alaska and he said it was Alaska song and he's 
taking it for all kinds of things. And so he, uh, he brought this piece to the uh, piano one time. I don't know if you can see it. This is Arkansas, and we've been trying to come up with some songs for the different states, and so I decided to come up with this song. It's an Arkansas song, according to Avery, but it's actually a Arkansas Traveler. This is one I've just tried to sort of put together the last little bit, so we'll see how it, how it comes out. Here comes Arkansas song, Arkansas Traveler. We'll put it right there so I can see it. This one is wedding song of all time at last. Man, these are just some good uh, songs to play. Songs. Okay, sure. next is uh, from the On the Rebound album here. It's Granddad's Arrangement. 
of a classic song you probably all know and love. It's called Danny Boy. Continue now with of one Hank more Williams. Hank What's your Williams. favorite Hank's, Hank Williams song right now? I like Hank, Hank Williams has to play I Saw Light. He does. Mm -hmm. And he has a good one He does. Mm -hmm. And one more. What about this one? What song is that? Are you being shy all of a sudden for the first time in 13 weeks? I have heard the name of this song approximately 58 times today. All right, I'll just play it and we'll see if you know it. Ready? Lipstick Blitz by 
Hank Williams. What about this one? Floyd Kramer. By Floyd Kramer. What about this one? By Patsy Cline. That's Patsy Cline. Avery not only knows the songs, he knows all the different versions the different of recordings. every song. This next one here was the most requested song by the most of you here from the past few days as I put out the call for these great love songs. So this one goes out to uh, Carol Webb, also known as Gran. Our grandmother, Natalie's grandmother, uh, you'd ask for this one, <laughs> or G-Gran for Avery. Uh, Susan Rust, John and Catherine Walker, Mary Hildebrandt, Susan uh, Belich, and Ray Malk. And Ray said this song was to be sung at our wedding 52 years ago, but someone missed their cue. And so I guess it, did. <laughs> it actually didn't get sung or played. We still love it and will love each other forever. That's Ray and Sharon from Fort Scott, Kansas. And the song is the twelfth of never. Yay! <laughs> Avery's excited. song I've always liked hearing my granddad play that song it feels like a lot of these um, I'm playing like the Floyd Kramer Reader's Digest album of favorites that we all my family had in the car all the time when I was growing up so you might have heard a few of these uh, arrangements of my granddad that I'm, uh, I'm playing along as well all right up next this one uh, was I guess probably the second most requested song of the uh, of the week from all of you requested by uh, Liz and Bob from Sun City Center, Florida, where I performed a bunch of times the last few years. Hello to everybody there. Uh, from Ra Dishler, from Beverly Thompson, from Barbara Jean Owens, and from Judy Taylor, who said she always danced to this song with her husband, and her husband passed away just this past summer. And so uh, we'll give you one more dance here. This is uh, Could I Have This Dance? <laughs>
song. Man, all these are just like good songs. Good songs. Yeah, fun to play. This is one of my favorites. Sometimes I sing it, sometimes I play it. Today I'll just play it for you. Uh, but it's, it's a, a great, great song, I think, and hopefully you'll I think so as well. It's called Bridge Over Troubled Water. gratitude from all of us uh, who, who haven't served to all of you who do serve us uh, here even today. This one's called You Raise Me Up.
this is a song that was requested by uh, Karen, one of my friends here on Facebook, and uh, also another one that happened to be played at several of our uh, friends and our family's weddings, too. I really did not intend for this to be all <laughs> wedding songs, but it also goes to show I've played a lot of weddings, too. So we'll give it a try. This is a, a song by Evangelist, who is also probably best known for that song, Chariots of Fire. It's a song, though, called Him. couple of more songs now for you as we uh, prepare to close out our tribute today to our American heroes.
we are getting close to wrapping up our time together here on Movie Night, but we have just a couple of more songs here. This is one that was requested by a couple of you, and it's another Disney song, but it's an early one, and uh, it's one that should give us all a little bit of hope and a little bit of magic uh, in our hearts, wherever we are. So, there you have it, the songs and the performances that inspired Simply Piano. Pretty fun to go back through all of those. Of course, all of those previous shows are available to watch from start to finish here on Facebook, or you can go to my website where I've set up a page that has all the videos listed that you can watch them really easily. It's sort of fun to go back and see where all we've been and where we're going. So, that covers the first 12 songs on the album. but. If you've got the album already in your hands, you know there is a special bonus track number 13. Because an album that is the best of The Jason Coleman Show would not be complete without the best part of The Jason Coleman Show. So let's take a look back now at how far my little special guest has come since March, and then we'll hear what he contributed to the new album. So here is the best of Mr. Avery Kramer Coleman. Thank you very much. How's it going back there, Avery? You having a good time? I'm doing great. You're doing great? Oh, you want to come say hello? Here. Hello. Say, how's everybody doing tonight? How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> oh, that's a good song. What are you going to play? What are you going to play? Can you play a pizza song? Start right there on E. I hear that again. Avery next week too, wow. we'll see. <laughs> Thank you. 
it this way. Here, stand up. <laughs> you silly boy. Take a bow. Take a big bow. Whoa. Oh, Avery, that may be your best yet. That was amazing. song with daddy mm, yeah yeah what song would you like to play with daddy today i'm gonna play i can have fun in love by Megan too and it was personally and Gibson coleman wow that is good company megan <laughs> taylor <laughs> and Elvis presley and jason coleman which is true, mm, true. megan taylor and i had recorded a version of this together and Elvis presley played it too can you sit here beside me Mom, you might make sure the camera over there is still rolling since there's no one behind it today. <laughs> that would be a good thing. All right, you want to sit beside me here? So Avery, every week now for 13 weeks, I believe, has brought you a new song, which is, I think, pretty remarkable for a kid who just turned three years old. And this may be our best yet, folks. Are we ready? Ready, Avery? Start right here on F. Yeah. And this is a song that my granddad and Avery's great granddad uh, played on the original recording by Elvis. Ready? Turn on the F. So at three years old, Avery has officially made his recording debut. How about that? You can hear that special duet with Daddy at the very end of the album. You know, I had no idea when I performed those first couple of Facebook Lives back in March that this would become such a huge part of our lives in such a short time. And just like our Sunday shows, this new album is for you and it's because of you. And you know, it's no accident that it's called Simply Piano Volume 1. Because as these Sunday shows keep on rolling, even more great songs keep on coming too. So get ready because even more music will be on its way really soon. If you've not yet gotten Simply Piano Volume 1, you can purchase your CD from my website, jasoncolemanmusic.com, or it's available for digital purchase on the iTunes Store as well. For now, though, I'll leave you with one more song. This one's not on Simply Piano, but it's one that I've recorded on several of my other albums already, and it's... The one song that really epitomizes the simply perfect piano style of my granddad, Floyd Kramer. This is Last Date.
Thanks for watching and enjoy the new album and we'll see you next Sunday. Take care.